Here's a short overview over the new features coming with the CC4D Tools update 1.0.32. And this is a rather small update because it only adds the support of importing and retargeting facial animation data coming from Rokoku Studio or the Moves app by Maxon to the face rig and the import face motion tool. So let me quickly show you how to do that. I'm going to start with some data coming from Rococo Studio and I'm going to use one of their facial animation example clips which I exported out as an FBX. In Cinema 4D I have already prepared a character with the CC4D control rig and the face rig. So I can go ahead and select the face control null object and click the CC4D import face motion icon. In the file dialog I select the FBX file I just exported from Rococo. And if everything works correctly, this will only import the Newton head face mesh which holds the animated post morph data into the scene and connect it to the retargeting setup of the face rig. And by taking a quick look at the console or by scrubbing the timeline, I can check if the retargeting was successful. I could now go ahead and bake everything down to the control objects with the CC4D bake tool. But let's rather have a look on how to retarget animation data coming from the Moves by Maxon app onto the face rig. But to import Moves data into our scene we cannot use the CC4D import face motion tool. We need to open it up through the Moves by Maxon window that can be found under extensions to add a face capture object to the scene holding the animation data. And as we need an animated post morph tag to retarget the data to the face rig, the next step is to create one by clicking the create post morph button at the bottom of the object tab of the face capture object. And the last step is to transfer over the animations to the post morphs by clicking the bake plan shapes button in the moves post morph helper tag on the newly created polygon object. And when I now select the post morph tag on the object and set the mode to animate and scrub the timeline, I can see that all of the animation data has been baked down to the post morph tag. And that's what we need for retargeting. So let's copy the mesh with the post morph tag into our scene with the control rig character. It will be at the scene's root, but that doesn't really matter. So let's select the Maxon Moves mesh and the face control null object while holding control and click the CC4D import face motion icon. This will not open up a file dialog because a mesh with a pose morph tag has been found within the selection. And again a quick look at the console shows if the pose morphs were recognized correctly. And regarding data coming from character creator or iClone, you can now also import and retarget facial animation data that was exported on a humanoid character and with the standard or the traditional facial profiles of character creator. But you will still get the best results when using animation data from a character with the extended facial profile or using data from the Moves by Maxon app or Rococo Studio.